What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Gen 1 favorite. We got ourselves a Lapras team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Lapras, we are pairing it up with Gothitelle to use Perish Song. If you do not know what Perish Song is, it's a weird move that you set up and then in the next three turns, any Pokemon that was on the field when this move was used actually dies out unless you swap out and that is where Gothitelle comes into play due to its shadow tag ability allowing opposing Pokemon to not swap out so I can hop on the field I can fake out with Gothitelle I can set up Parasong they can't swap out we eventually protect waste out some turns both the Pokemon drop out and we get thriving from there so pretty cool combo if we can use it end game that could definitely be clutch because obviously in the end game you can't switch out so Parasong just becomes like this pretty much just like win button so, super excited to be using Lapras, but other than Paris Song, Lapras has Protect, it's got Freeze Dry and Muddy Water with Water Absorb as its ability, and Leftovers as its item. Gothitelle's got Fake Out, Protect, Psychic, and Trick Room. Our other four Pokemon on today's team features plenty other Fake Out users, Incineroar, Rillaboom doing Incineroar and Rillaboom things, then we got Twist Scarf, Annihilate, and King Gambit with Defiant in the Black Glasses. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Lapras in ranked regulation H. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Heracross team. Heracross, super dope Pokemon with Murkrow, Araquanid, Volcarona, Titar, and last but not least, they do have Rillaboom. Now, do I want to set up Parasong turn one? Or would I rather see if Lapras has like this late game Pokemon? I think I'd rather save it for more so late game. I know they can set up Talon with Murkrow, they can really start getting after it, but I could just go into like Annihilate and just like final gambit through. And that's kind of where I'm sitting. Just go Annihilate turn one, look to just final gambit a Pokemon, take him out no problem, and then move on to the next Pokemon. I like that. So I'm going to go Annihilate here. Um, as our secondary Pokemon, do we want Incineroar or would we rather have like King Gambit? Could honestly go rule of him here as well. King Gambit's not bad. Especially with Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Cow Attack, Leave. Could work pretty well. I am going to end up going King Gambit here. I mean, its speed stats are pretty meh. But I still feel as you could do some big time damage across the board. Volker in a Heat Wave could hurt me. But I like that. And I like going in with Gothitelle in Lapras late game. Because again, if I can just put two Pokemon, or, or if I can just get them down to two Pokemon, Lapras can come in here, Parasong, click away. And we can look to win the game. So that, that's kind of the plan here. That is kind of the plan. Let's see who they end up leading here. We're going to try to delete the first Pokemon with Annihilate, which could be good. Let's just see who they want to go in with. And it's going to be Murkrow and Heracross. So Murkrow and Heracross come out here. Um, I don't really mind. I don't really mind the Murkrow on the field. Because Murkrow is not going to do that much damage. I am going to Final Gambit you. And I am going to end up just chipping up damage into Murkrow here. Because he probably sets up a Tailwind, right? He protects Heracross. Okay, so smart call. Protecting Heracross. That's fine. I mean, I can still final game, but Tailwind's going to fly through here. I'm really hoping that... Uh, I'm really hoping that we still outspeed this Heracross. Would be really nice with this Choice Scarf. Because I am Choice in the final game, but... So Iron Head launches. How much damage are we doing here? A lot. This is actually really good for us. This is really good, especially if we can outspeed and Final Gambit can KO. Oh my lord, we're going for a Final Gambit in the Iron Head again to take out the Murkrow. Because if I pick up the double KO here, I'm just bringing out Lapras. I'm setting up Pirate Song. We're winning this game. They're thinking, though. The real question is, does Heracross outspeed this Nihilate? That's really what it comes down to right now. That is really what it comes down to. If we would have done that turn one, that would have been awesome. Let's see. Annihilate with the Choice Scarf or Heracross. I think Heracross is going to outspeed me. He's going to taunt me. Is this an attacking move? I'm curious. Does taunt stop this? It doesn't. Cool. Later, Heracross. We pretty much just won this game. The so taunt doesn't stop final game, but that's great to know. <laughs> that is so good to know. We're going to say bye-bye, Heracross. We're going to say bye-bye, Murkrow. They do have Tailwind set up, which is a little scary, but they can't swap out. So Parasong is just going to be a great option for us. Especially with a fake out user in the back end, we could just slow play these turns all day. So Lapras gonna come out here, super bulky Pokemon. We might even use our Terra for this Pokemon. Just to waste out some more turns. Depending on who they go into, because we really just don't need Lapras to die. So Volcarona comes out here, not too worried about that. I mean, you could have Giga Drain, but it's not Stab. And Arachnid comes out here. 
I got water absorb. Yeah, I mean, we shouldn't even use our Terra. We shouldn't even use our Terra. We're going to pop Parasong. Look to win this game. So Parasong going to fly out here. And do I protect? I Thrasilize in Dark. I'm just going to protect this turn. Slow play this all day. So protect King Gambit. Click my win button, which is Parasong. Thanks for playing. There's no way you're surviving three turns here. <laughs> it's game set match. He is going to launch. Thanks for playing. They might even double down into King Gambit, but after we set up this Parasong, it's no problem. There's Liquidation. Going to get blocked. A double down. Big time protect. Now you can take out my King Gambit. I don't care. I don't care. There's Parasong. You weren't expecting that. You were not expecting that. Now they only got three more turns, and they're all going to drop. Awesome. We got Leftovers showing. Um, I could protect Lapras, but I don't think protecting Lapras this turn. Actually, yeah, we, we should actually protect Lapras this turn. We're just trying to waste out turns. So I'm going to protect Lapras this turn. If they double down, they can Gambit, so be it. Then we get a fake out turn, and then we can double protect and win the game. So thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. I, I actually would rather just go for a double protect here. No point for me not to. We just got to waste out turns. So we're just going to go for double protect. If we land it, we land it. If we don't, I mean, King Gambit was dying out anyway to Heat Wave and Liquidation. But there's my nice little protect. Lapras. Show me double protect. We land it. Even better. <laughs> Even better. Thanks for playing. Are they doubling down into King Gambit again? Night, night. Night, night. Two turns left. They better get on their high horse, pick up some KOs. They better start picking up some KOs. They pretty much have to pick up a double KO in order to win this game. Man, I love Paris Song. <laughs> Worked out so perfectly. Do I go for double protect for Lapras? I could, but there's really no reason to. There's really no reason to. Parasong drops the two turns. I could honestly just like terrestrialize my King Gambit. Yeah, I'm actually cool with that. We're gonna go for Muddy Water here. And terrestrialize. Actually, Freeze Dry would be four times super effective. You, so. I'm gonna do that. And I'm actually gonna terrestrialize just so we're not weak to, uh. Just so we're not weak to what's it called? Heat Wave. Because who knows, King Gambit could potentially survive another turn, but after this, it's going to be down to one turn, and I just protect my Lapras or my Gothitelle, and we win this game. No problem. So, yeah. Like I said in the beginning, you get them down to two Pokemon, you just set up Parasong. It's pretty much just a win button. Especially with, like, protects and fake outs. You can waste out turns, no problem. The Sucker Punch launches does decent damage. And there goes the Heat Wave, which King Gambit now soaks. And Freeze is going to finish you off, so Parasong not even going to KO you. Actually, it is going to KO you. You end up surviving that. And you have Citrus Berry. Nice, lovely Citrus Berry. And now comes Liquidation. Can we soak this? We do, so King Gambit's soaking. Beautiful, so good Terra on our end. Thanks for the HP. Parasong's gonna finish off this match. Lapras, getting after it, match number one. We love to see it. Parasong count falls to one. And we just double protect. Night, night. Night, night, dude. Simple match here. King, King Gambit getting us started there. With a nice little final gambit. And we didn't really have to worry about the Murkrow. And I think they just cancel match. Yeah, they cancel match. 1-0 and o to get things started. Hot start for us in match number one. Looking to go back to back here. Going up against an Annihilate team with Magmar. With Oranguru. With Azumarill, Rollaboom, and komo -O. So, how do I want to start things off? Do I want to start things off with a Parasong? I could definitely start things off with a Parasong. I'm thinking I should. At that point, I could just fake out with Gothitelle, set up Parasong, waste out a couple turns, and then have my back end Pokemon kind of just clean up this match. I'm with it. I'm with it. So I'm going to go into these two. I am going to end up going into Annihilate for late game. And last but not least, do we go into Incineroar? Kind of want to. Or do I go into like Rillaboom? We need either Rillaboom or Incineroar here. Hmm. I got knockoff, I got U-turn, I got fake out, race glide. You with the safety goggles could be pretty good. Knockoff parting shot, we can just like slow play it. I actually kind of like Incineroar here. So we're gonna try to Parasong turn one this time. See if we can do it the opposite way. They both work really well depending on what situation we go into, but I like this a lot because I can fake out turn one, I can set it up, kind of get after it. But yo, look at that dude's <laughs> trainer card. It's just like Ursaluna on a roof looking over the top. It's actually hilarious. I end up going Annihilate with Magmar. Now, Annihilate Magmar, a tad bit scary. Um, why not have no music playing? This is weird. This feels weird. This feels weird. But, 
You should have more HP than, a, than an Annihilate. You do, Lapras. So you could survive a Final Gambo. I'm gonna go Parasong. Final Gambo can't hit you, right? Got tell? If he can. He can. Hmm. I am just gonna fake out the Magmar. Actually, Parasong wouldn't do anything if you're Final Gambiting. But I'm gonna drop this. Why is there no music? Why is there no music? We fake out. Is he going for Final Gambit? Please no. He's gonna bulk up. That's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. Dude, this is weird for me. No music. I don't like this one bit. But we're still gonna try to win the Smash. Parasong drops. I have music on random. So it's like something should be popping up. I guess it landed on no music. I, I, I don't know. Beats me. Parasong on the field. Parasong's dropping to three. Cool. All right. From here, we protect. Could protect. Um, we are part of ice type, which is kind of scary. I could go fairy, which wouldn't be bad. I could go fairy, which wouldn't be bad, but I think they're going to actually just uh, try to attack my... Uh, I think they're just going to try to attack my Gothitelle. So I'm just going to protect this turn. Because I think since Parasong is on the field, they just want to like knock it out, get rid of Shadow Tag, and then kind of get after it that way. I think that's more so the play that they want to do. Well, follow me. is going to come out here. We have Muddy Water flying. Hopefully, they're going after Gothitelle. This could be a big-time turn for us. And no, they are going to Train Punch Lapras, which they one tap. Oh, my lord. I was thinking of Thrasilizing it, too. I just thought they were going to go after Gothitelle. This is bad. This is bad. But I can bring out... Mm, I was going to say I could bring out Incineroar. Parasong falling to two. I have Citrus Berry. Hmm. Oh, man. How am I going to play this one? How am I going to play this one? How am I going to play this one? What are they going to do? Drain punch me? Come here, let me see you got though, because you're pure psychic. They're not going to drain punch you. They're going to go for Rage Fist. They're going to go for Rage Fist. I am going to go into a Shadow Call here. Actually, I should have went into a different Pokemon. I, sh I should just U-turn out of here. Yeah, I'm going to go for a U-turn here, and I am going to go for a... Oh, do you do a Terra? I think I have to Terrasilize here. And save my Annihilate. Because I can't let them KO my Gothitelle. If they KO my Gothitelle, they can just hard swap and uh, win the game. So I'm going to Terrasilize my Gothitelle here. Wow, that Drain Punch really taking out my Lapras did me dirty. Did me dirty. I needed one more turn out of that thing. I should have terrestrialized Lapras, though. I should have hands down terrestrialized Lapras. There's that. I'm going to be able to U-turn out of here. I am going to Defiant boost him, which kind of sucks. But I should be able to soak this Rage Fist. I think Rage Fist is going in the Goth Tell slot. And I could just hard swap, what's it called? Incineroar. That's more so my play. Let's see. So Defiant boost coming out here. Gotta be going for Rage Fist. You go for Will-O-Wisp into the Incineroar slot, which is fine. And Annihilate is gonna go for the Rage Fist into... Who? Who are you going after? You're going after this slot. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Psychic is gonna launch. Deal some nice damage. And now Parasong can pretty much finish them off. Like, I, I am gonna protect my Gothitelle, even if I don't have to. But I am gonna protect it. And chances are they are gonna Drain Punch somebody. So I think just protecting Gothitelle and swapping into Annihilate here is definitely our best bet. And depending on what Pokemon they have in late game, I could final Gambit away. I could final Gambit away. So let's see. Still no music though. It's kind of annoying me, man. Silence is killing me. But we're doing fine. We're doing fine. And we're gonna hard swap it through Annihilate. We're gonna we're gonna think Dream Punch is launching. It has to be launched into Annihilate slot. One or the other, right? We got Protect set up on one side. We're Ghost type on the other one. Hopefully no Will-O-Wisp comes out here. It does. Are we blocking that? We are. We are blocking that Will-O-Wisp. So we blocked the Will-O-Wisp. Drain Punch launches. Great swap on our end. And they're Annihilate and Magmar will drop here. So now we're not sitting in a terrible position because with this double KO here, I can final Gambit and pick up a KO onto a Pokemon that I want. All right. So Parasong getting after it. 
Yeah, I really feel as if I can just Final Gambit take out a Pokemon, I can turn this into a 2v1 with Incineroar and Gothel fake out kind of knockoff kind of plays. Oh, I forgot Gothitelle was on the field. Why didn't I swap Gothitelle? Okay. I totally forgot that Gothitelle was on the field when I used Parasong. Alright, that's fine. Still 2v2. I get to Intimidate here. It's going to be Azumarill. I don't have Terra, though. I might have to Gambit that. I might have to Gambit that and turn this into a 1v1. With Komo. Oh, oh dude, this thing's fighting. How do I play this one? They still have Terra. Oh, man. I could just start going into close combats. I could fake out. I could just final gambit you. And fake out you. This is tough because I don't think I have enough attack power to get rid of that thing. I really don't. I really don't. I can't final gambit here. As much as I want to, I simply cannot final gambit. We're going to go into this and fake out Azumarill. So he protects Azumarill. That's a smart protect. That's a smart protect. Close combat. Can you at least do half here? Can you at least do half? Man, taking out my Gothitelle really did me dirty. Me not remembering that it, that it also works under my Gothitelle really does me dirty. And I don't do half there. Yeah, because if I had Gothitelle here, I would have just, I would have just found a gambit away. And there goes Clangor's soul. Hopefully my close combat still outspeeds because you're going to lose some HP here. Your defense does boost, which really sucks. Hmm. Can I do enough damage with a close combat? I don't think I can. Actually, ooh, that's close. All oh, your leftovers. Oh, no, your third spray. Okay, hold up. If we saw at speed, you don't know I'm Choice Scarf. You have no idea I'm Choice Scarf. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I got to go knock off. <laughs> I mean, that's really all I got. It's really all I got. I could start parting shotting away. My defense is already dropped. I gotta go for knockoff. Let's just try to get rid of item. This is Zumero really doing me dirty. Yeah, I needed that. I needed that so bad. So close combat launches Choice Scarf finishes you off. Um, we're not gonna be able to do a lot of damage with close combat though. We're gonna hope that Azumarill like doesn't KO whichever Pokemon's him, but I feel like whichever one touches. He just got the perfect typing. Knockoff's gonna launch. We are gonna get rid of item, do about negative six, but I mean it's got stab fairy and stab water moves. Taking off his citrus berries, good news. And he goes for... It gives me a chance. Because we outspeed you. You just gave me a chance to win this game. You just gave me a chance to win this game. Because we outspeed you. Can close combat. And what would be more damage? Flare Blitz, right? Yeah. And Flare Blitz, could they do enough damage here? I think so. I think so. Oh, you're going to Aqua Jet. Totally forgot. Yeah. That's fair. Aqua Jet picks up KO. It's ridiculous damage. Flare Blitz, can you pick up KO? Go ahead, Flare Blitz. Oh, man. So close yet so far. So close yet so far. Aqua Jet really doing that much damage? They do deserve this win regardless. I feel like it's more so on me not, realize that, not realizing that it's going to KO my Gothitelle. So that does me dirty. Aqua Jet's going to fly. GG's to our opponent. Big time Belly Drum setup. Aqua Jet just does a ridiculous amount of damage with Belly Drum. Moving on to our final match for today's video. We'd love to grab ourselves a winning record with Paris Song Lapras. Now, in the last match, I totally forgot that Paris Song KOs my ally Pokemon. So we honestly would have won that match if I would have thought about that. But hey, GG's to our opponent. They still played pretty well with that belly drum assume run. But they got Sneasler. They also have Whimsicott. They also have My Shout. So two fake out users with Gargonacle, Primarina, and last but not least, they do have Amoongus. I feel like going into a final game at Pokemon just to get things started could really be beneficial for us considering again they have fake out on a lot of different pokemon so i like going into that i could also go into incineroar because intimidate could be good for us and fake out could also be good for us so i do like this or i could just like parting shot I a lot of different options for me i definitely got a lot of different options so i'm gonna go incineroar i am gonna go king gambit and i'm just gonna go in with gothitelle i'm all about it i'm all about it i am all about it so let's see who they end up leading here because again, again, Final Gambit could just be perfect for this situation. They want to lead a Pokemon, say, like, My Shot. I mean, My Shot's Focus Ash, but I'm actually not sure if the uh, Final Gambit pushes through the Focus Ash. Because there's My Shot. I'd rather Final Gambit and Moongus for God this year, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. He's probably going to fake out my Incineroar, probably going to try to put somebody to sleep. That's fine. All right, so 
Final Gambit's gonna come out here. Hopefully this is enough to KO the Moongus. We're gonna do that, and... If we can, I'd really just like to, you know, take off this thing's Focus Ash and get off some damage. I probably should've just went for Flare Blitz, but... Let's see how this one plays. I should definitely went for Flare Blitz there. But I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Because there is a chance that you could swap my show. There is a chance, but I doubt it. So Fake Out's gonna fly here into Incineroar. No big deal. Final Gambit gonna rip. Send it his way. Is it enough damage? It is. I'll take that one for one trade all day. Amoongus is just too powerful. Amoongus is just way too powerful. And from here, I can parting shot into the Pokemon on the right slot. Maybe Terrasalize my Incineroar, or I can Terrasalize you. Um, I am going to probably Terrasalize you in the Fairy. And then just drop a Parasong. Let's see. Let's see what they go into. So Lapras comes out here. Lapras is part Ice, so fighting is super effective. And you are going to go into Primarina, which is actually pretty good for us. Definitely pretty good. So I'm going to Terrasalize. I am going to set up this Parasong. And I am going to hard swap into into Gothitelle, rather than parting shotting, because one, I have Citrus Berry, two, I don't think Incineroar's really outspeeding and survive in a nice little hyper voice or close combat, so I think Terrastalization's great here, we can save Incineroar for late game, and we can just look to win this, right, we can just look to win this, alright, let's see how this one plays. Nice little fairy terror on my Lapras's head. And again, hopefully, I think if, if my calculations are correct here, you should be going for close combat in the Lapras here. Drain punch in this slot. That's fine too. That's fine too. This in Hyper Voice. Parasong's gonna come out. I do have water. I do have water absorb, which is good. So Parasong on the field. They can't swap. I can fake out Primarina this turn, which is really good. Hyper Voice is gonna launch. I still have Citrus Berry. Everything working out great here. You can throw it spray up. We're going to fake you out next turn, then just double protect. We're just wasting out these turns. And I got leftovers, which is great. And I got leftovers. Cool. Wait, I have water absorbed. Why didn't I get HP back there? Did I not get HP back there? I have water absorbed, don't I? Yeah. I mean, is technically that a normal move, Hyper Voice? Not too sure. I could actually just stay on the field here, but actually I am. I'm not going to protect this turn. I am just going to freeze dry out. Freeze dry with a fake out. I'm going to double down in this slot because I know you're inner focused. So Y guard's going to come out here. That's fine. We're just wasting out these turns. We are just slowly wasting out these turns. So there's fake out. I am going to have to swap one Pokemon. And I guess I'll decide who I want to swap. Really depending on what goes on here. And if I could take out Primarina and set up another Parasong. Oh, that's a big time freeze, though. That is a big time freeze. That freeze right there actually just gave us a chance to, you know, hard swap into Incineroar here. Just to get the Parasong off of Lapras. I'm so doing that. I'm so getting the Parasong off of Lapras right here. So I'm going to swap into Incineroar. Um, I doubt you go for Drain Punch into that slot. And I think I just protect Gothitelle here. Yeah, because we're just waiting for this Trick Room to... Uh, not Trick Room, this Parasol on the end. And if I can get it, get both of my Pokemon out there, that'd be really nice. If I can get them both off the Parasol, that could really be good for us. So I'm going to hard swap Lapras out of here. Lapras. Big time freeze from Lapras. Especially if this Pokemon doesn't thaw out here. This could be a great turn for us. I Intimidate up. He's going to be in a focus on this slot. And show me you're still frozen. I need you to be frozen this turn. I really do. I really do. Drain Punch gonna launch and we block that up all day long. I still have Citrus Berry, which is huge. And how many turns are left in Parasong? It should be one. It should be one. I should be able to hard swap Gothitelle this turn. And really be good. Question is, does Drain Punch KO my Incineroar? That's that's my one that's my one issue here. That is my one issue. I'm I'm gonna fake out this slot. And I am just gonna hard swap the Gothitelle back into Lapras. And do that. So both these Pokemon will be dead by the end of this turn. Uh, the real question is, can Incineroar soak up a Drain Punch? That's really all we needed to do. Or a close combat. I mean, it's been using Drain Punch, so I'm kind of hoping the same with Drain Punch. Fake Out's going to launch into Pre, just to make sure that thing doesn't attack. 
And there's a Drain Punch launched in this slot. And we do soak it, so that's massive. So both these Pokemon are going to go down. We have three left. Yo, Parasol Lapras kicking it. This thing's still going to be frozen, but, I mean, we faked it out for a reason. So everybody wave bye-bye. Primarina, my shall. See you later. Parasong is down and out. Both of them gone. My Pokemon swapped out, so... Everything worked out perfectly. So we learned from our mistakes in the last match. We swapped out our Pokemon so they didn't die out the Parasol. And now we're sitting in a pretty position. 3v1. 3v1, I can... I can Parasol again. I can Parasol again. Who's gonna go in the Garganacle? Oh, we are so Parasol. We, we are so being annoying today. We are so being annoying. I'm gonna go for this, and I'm just gonna go for Parasol. <laughs> they gonna cancel? They do cancel. GG to our opponent. We go 2 and 1 with Parasong Lapras. To be honest, I don't really ever use Parasong. This was the first time in a while, and I absolutely loved it. Super easy, super fun, and we got to showcase Lapras, a Pokemon that you don't get to see too much. Awesome, awesome. 2 and 1 winning record for today. Can't go wrong with that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.